India, climate, vegetation and wildlife. India, the climate of a country plays a vital role in shaping its economy and diversity. Our country enjoys a cultural diversity with a variety of people, languages, religions, customs and traditions. We must understand the complex character of climate that influences people. The climate is the average weather condition which has been measured over many years. Due to its vast extent, India experiences a variety of climate from a hot and humid equatorial climate to cold and dry tundra climate. All the places of the north and central India experience a continental type of climate. The coastal areas of India experience equable type of climate as the variation in the range of temperature is very low. However, the climate of India has broadly been described as monsoon type. Due to India's location in the tropical region, most of the rain is caused by monsoon winds. Good monsoons in India mean adequate rain and good harvest. Factors affecting climate Latitude As India is located roughly between 8 degree 4 minutes north and 37 degrees 6 minutes north latitudes, it gives India a tropical and subtropical climate. The climate is hot depending on the distance from the equator. Altitude As we move up higher from the surface, we feel colder. The temperature falls at the rate of 1 degree Celsius for every 165 meters. This effect is felt in the mountains and plateaus. This explains why places experience great heat in summers while Himalayas are much cooler. Distance from the sea. The sea has a cooling effect over coastal areas. They have a moderating effect which means that areas close to sea do not experience a large variation in temperature. It explains why Kerala experiences less variation in temperature than that of Delhi. Winds If there is a difference in atmospheric pressure between two regions, air moves from region of higher pressure to the region of lower pressure. This movement of air is called as wind. A constant cool wind makes the climate cooler and a hot wind makes it warmer. Mountains In India, Himalayan mountain acts as a climatic barrier. It stands as a barrier against the cold wind from northern Asia. They also force monsoon winds to shed their moisture within the country. Without this barrier, the monsoon winds would have blown into Central Asia and the northern parts of India would have remained dry. Weather Weather is the day-to-day -day changes in the atmosphere. It includes changes in temperature, wind, sunshine, precipitation, etc. These elements determine the weather you experience. The conditions of weather is also determined by reliefs, oceans, mountains and air currents. These factors also determine what we wear or what we eat or drink. When it is hot continuously for several days, we do not require woolen clothing. This is why people in South India hardly use woolen clothes. During winters in Northern India, we feel cold even after wearing woolen clothes due to windy and chilly conditions. Seasons The climate of India can be described in terms of an annual cycle of seasons. The four distinct seasons follow a set pattern. The four main seasons can be described in the following main categories. Winter During the winter season, the sun rays do not fall directly in the region and the winds flow from land to sea. In general, the temperature decreases from south to north. In the northernmost part of the country, the minimum temperature may reach even below 0 degrees Celsius. Rainfall over the entire subcontinent during this season is moderate to scanty as the land gets cold, forming a high-pressure system. In India, winter begins in December and lasts till February. As the sun's rays fall on the equator in the third week of March, heat starts reaching the northern hemisphere. In India, 
Summer is characterized by hot and dry weather. Summer comes to southern states first. The maximum temperature may even rise to above 45 degrees Celsius in north and northwest India during the month of May. There is no respite from the heat as there are no regular showers. The hot and dusty winds called lu sometimes increase the temperature by 2 or 3 degrees. Thus, in India, summers begin in March and continue up to May. Rainy season by April May the heat becomes intense in north india to form a distinct low pressure area this starts attracting winds from the high pressure zones over the indian ocean to move towards india as monsoon winds these winds are moisture laden and cause heavy rainfall in india this season of heavy rainfall is also called monsoon and most of india receives rainfall during this season The rainy season in India begins in the month of June and lasts till September. Autumn retreating monsoons. The monsoon starts retreating from India in the month of October. During this time, the sun's rays during this time, the sun's direct rays are back on the equator and the Indian peninsula starts to cool down again as the sun starts to move away from the tropic of Cancer. In the early parts of October, The heat remains oppressive as the ground is still moist and the sky remains clear making the weather uncomfortable. It is known as October heat. The retreating monsoons bring rainfall to coastal Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. The rains are often accompanied by strong winds. Natural vegetation. The plants that grow in natural conditions at a place describe the natural vegetation of a place. We see a variety of plant life in our surroundings. There are small plants called bushes and shrubs along with tall trees having many branches and leaves. These grasses, bushes, shrubs and trees which grow on their own without interference are called natural vegetation. The vegetation cover of a place is a mirror of its climate. Apart from climate Other factor that influences natural vegetation cover is the relief of the land therefore vegetation varies with relief and climate due to varied climatic conditions india has a varied range of natural vegetation the broad categories of natural vegetation are discussed below tropical rainforests this type of vegetation is found in the areas where the annual amount of rainfall is over 200 cm forests are so dense that sunlight does not reach the ground these have many evergreen trees which do not shed their leaves across seasons this vegetation type is found in western ghats parts of assam and meghalaya west bengal odisha andaman and nicobar islands the common vegetation includes rosewood mahogany etc trivia In India 16 major types of forests have been found recognized these 16 major types can be grouped into five major categories namely moist tropical dry tropical montane subtropical temperate and alpine forests tropical deciduous forests these are also known as monsoon forests it is the most common type of forest in India they are found in the regions having rainfall between 80 to 200 cm in a year because of long dry spell the trees shed their leaves and grow new leaves in rainy season these forests are found in chhota nagpur plateau covering chatisgarh and parts of madhya pradesh western parts of odisha and jharkhand the common vegetation includes shisham teak mango neem babul sandalwood sal etc thorn forests these are found in areas receiving less than 75 cm rainfall thorn forests are also found in swampy areas that are constantly washed by the sea water during high tides these are found in gujarat rajasthan punjab and haryana and in the interior parts of the peninsula plateau the common vegetation includes babul khair date palms cactus etc 
Trees are short and stunted which have thick bark and short leaves.